Gulf of Mexico has always been warm enough to power tropical storms and hurricanes, but in recent years, it has been getting even warmer than average, powering even bigger storms. Here are the metro areas that I think are overdue for a major hurricane strike. Number five, Houston, Texas. Despite the fact that Harvey was a devastating impact, it was a tropical storm. That was a flood disaster for the Houston area. Ike was a Category 2 in 2008. Not since Alicia in 1983 have we been directly impacted by the winds of a major hurricane, and I'm concerned without shutters on the windows in the Houston area, we aren't ready for the next major hurricane. Number four, Corpus Christi, Texas. They are so vulnerable to storm surge and have had some recent near misses. The center of Harvey passed just to the north of Corpus Christi, sparing them the worst wind and storm surge. You have to go back to the 1960s to find the last time a major hurricane directly impacted this very storm surge vulnerable area. And now we have so many more people that need to have an evacuation plan for next time. Number three, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Even though South Florida is so hurricane vulnerable, Fort Lauderdale has narrowly escaped recent direct major hurricane strikes. Wilma was a major hurricane that hit Southwest Florida, Cat 1 and 2 for Broward County and Fort Lauderdale. Andrew missed to the south. And yes, Category 5 Andrew struck South Florida in 1992, but it was a compact, very small storm that not only completely missed Fort Lauderdale, it even missed downtown Miami. Many other hurricanes have been near misses, but it's been since 1950 that we've had a major hurricane directly strike the Fort Lauderdale area. It's gonna happen again. Number two, Tampa Bay, Florida. One of the cities still overdue for a direct major hurricane impact is the Tampa Bay area. You might be thinking, in 2024, we had more than we could handle with Helene and Milton. We did not take the direct impacts from either storm in the Tampa Bay area from a major hurricane. Helene was farther offshore. Milton made landfall to the south. It is staggering to think that it's been more than a century since the last time a major hurricane directly impacted the Tampa Bay area. But we have not had a direct major hurricane like the October 1921 storm with all of the dramatically increased population and infrastructure in harm's way. The winds and the storm surge that would affect the Tampa Bay area if you repeat a 1921 storm would be devastating. Number one, the Georgia coast. The Georgia coast is my number one area overdue for a direct major hurricane strike because it has been more than a century since the 1890s brought numerous major hurricane strikes. Recent years, we've had paralleling storms like Matthew and Dorian and close calls like Ian and Hugo, but it has been way too long. And I fear that just about everybody on the Georgia coast has no idea what it's like to directly experience a major hurricane.